My name is Darshan. Uh, thank you for joining me in another video from uh, Rivera Resort. Uh, today I'm standing beside my biogas plant. This uh, biogas plant has been operational for more than two years now. I would recommend uh, having a biogas plant for any hotel, uh, a kitchen which uh, cooks for a lot of people, or even for a home. Th this, uh, this unit is actually a six cubic meter unit. Um, actually we have around two feet under the under the uh, ground level it is it is preferable to have it as low as possible so it's easier for us to feed the material inside and even to take the material out um, the liquid that uh, i will explain a bit later uh, for us uh, because of uh, flash floods and, uh, and uh, water table being quite high uh, this is the maximum we could go a local ngo called uh, Janath uh, helped me with uh, designing this uh, model. Um, they gave uh, free advice and consultancy and uh, they helped me uh, throughout the way in building this. So uh, as you can see, this is, uh, this is uh, actually a watertight uh, uh, construction. So construction is very important. And uh, if you, I would recommend consult someone who actually do this professionally, uh, so that uh, you don't have run into any trouble or any leakage once you build this. Um, the building materials that we have used here is um, uh, reinforced concrete, brick for the walls, and uh, this is of course a, um, a stainless steel uh, uh, container which we had uh, lying around. You can use uh, either fiberglass or brick structure. To, uh, to construct this um, gas chamber. So this, uh, this uh, unit itself uh, cost me around uh, 150,000 Sri Lankan rupees, which is uh, equivalent of around uh, $1,000 dollars, US dollars. So uh, this is the inlet part. This is where all the, uh, uh, all the organic material go in. And uh, a, then, once it starts uh, uh, moving through and it starts breaking inside and then it will go to the outer uh, output chamber uh, and the pipe that you have you see here is the pipe that carries the gas into my into, into my kitchen uh, which is here at the back uh, so this this pipe is actually uh, all pvc uh, the gas that gets produced is uh, is methane it's very corrosive, so it's um, it's uh, you have to use uh, PVC uh, to prevent any any damage along the line. So, as you can see, this this pipe, of course, is it's in a slight angle, uh, which actually traps the water that is condensed and uh, prevents it coming along the pipe and blocking the gas uh, gas line. So, anything that uh, condensed will come back. Uh, and there's a small uh, uh, outlet that you can open and release the release the water periodically. For input, we will uh, use uh, kitchen waste. Uh, along with kitchen waste, you can actually uh, put um, uh, fish cutoffs and uh, meat cutoffs, all the things that you clean. This unit will handle them without any problem. You can even put some. Uh, uh, burnt oil into in, in here which actually produces a lot of gas um, and the primary purpose of this is to for waste management and uh, while it's doing the waste management very effectively it actually produces gas as well so our primary uh, 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 energy source for cooking is uh, mainly LP gas and this substitute uh, probably around 15 to 20 percent uh, of the gas need uh, uh, we have at, at our resort. Initially, once the unit is built, we, we will have to uh, start off the uh, anaerobic reaction by introducing uh, cow dung mixed with water. So in here, once you build it, you will put water in here. So once the water is in, then you will start mixing the cow dung in, into it. So it will take around uh, two weeks for the aerobic reaction to change into an anaerobic reaction, which actually produces the 
uh, methane gas. So after two, two, two weeks, you can slowly start in, introducing uh, the, the kitchen waste, uh, which will actually start producing, uh, producing the biogas. Uh, <laughs> Here you can see we have added uh, burnt oil and some beef fat uh, then uh, parts of um, uh, prawns that we have cleaned. Here you can see that we are adding some uh, kitchen, kitchen waste along with uh, food that is uh, left over. What is that? What is that? As you can see these uh, kitchen cutoffs uh, have, uh, have a bit of uh, sand in the roots and things so we will have to clean it a bit before we add it into our biogas plant. So once these uh, vegetable cutoffs have been rinsed uh, we can add it safely into the biogas plant. Honey, you don't So once we have added all these, um, all the materials that needs to go in, all the organic waste, uh, then we will top it up with the same amount of water, uh, same volume of water. Here you can see we are adding the water. So we actually reuse the bags as well after cleaning them so that uh, we don't waste anything unnecessarily. So we just uh, use this uh, hole to push everything inside. This unit is a six cubic meter unit, and it will take around 30 to 40 kilos um, every every day. So, which is quite a, quite a uh, quite a lot of amount that it can take. Uh, every time you add uh, the organic material, you will have to uh, top up the same amount with water as well. As I said, uh, once you start adding the water, uh, so this uh, this will be uh, the, the all the material will start moving through and it will get broken in uh, producing the methane uh, gas so then the, then the most um, incredible thing about this uh, this unit is anything that you put in here will actually end up as as um, as uh, as liquid form in he, in the outer chamber so any any organic material that you are going to add so you have to be very careful and it has to be done very responsibly um, so that you don't uh, introduce any uh, unwanted material inside uh, sometimes you know you have to be very careful that you don't uh, put sand in there so all these things are very important so so it has to be maintained very, very uh, properly so that it works very efficiently so once everything is broken down all the all the all that remains is, is a liquid slurry so we call this as the biogas slurry that comes uh, in here and since you are adding water this level will uh, rise and fall as well so actually if you can imagine this once the gas is in there the water is the sealant so so the water is always somewhere around this or above this uh, around this level so the water actually prevents any gas leaking and all the pressure gets built in, in this chamber 
and then it passes into the kitchen. So the, the good thing about this, uh, the bio slurry is it is rich in uh, microorganism and it's a very good, very good uh, uh, organic fertilizer, which we use it for, uh, for, for our organic garden and uh, uh, any vegetable garden also can, it can be used. Um, then we use this uh, slurry to charge our biochar as well, which, uh, which is another uh, uh, another thing that we do uh, at our site. I have done a blog regarding this biogas plant. So uh, if you want more details, uh, there are plenty of uh, photos there, how the structure is made from, from, uh, from the ground level and then all the material that we actually add and uh, and there is even a video of um, how, how how the slurry will look and uh, which proves actually everything that's in that chamber is uh, is liquid so you can uh, have a look at that uh, video <laughs> Uh, so once the bio slurry gets uh, filled here and when you start introducing water and depending on the how much uh, gas is getting built up in there, the, the slurry level will uh, rise and then it will get pushed through this um, outlet uh, overflow uh, pipe and it will get uh, it will start filling the 500 liter uh, pvc tank that i have over there every two weeks the tank will get filled uh, this uh, bio slurry can be uh, taken and used for all the purpose that i mentioned before and the other pipe that we have here is we haven't actually used it at all uh, this is in case if there is an emergency and you want to release all the slurry which is in here uh, so it will release up to that point then of course you have to uh, put a submersible pump and pump everything out if you want to uh, clean but as i said for the past two years uh, more than two years we haven't actually done any 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 maintenance or any cleaning uh, uh, none of those things uh, you, you have to worry about as long as you are quite uh, uh, confident in what you are actually adding to the system and you are adding the right material and the, if someone is actually looking looking after the system properly. So that is the most important thing, you know, you can't just build this and then dump every everything that comes from the kitchen. So this is why I said uh, uh, have a look at the blog and it will explain uh, what are the materials that we use, um, so which will give you an indication. And uh, as I mentioned before, you know, when you're building this, uh, building your unit, uh, uh, I would uh, strongly recommend that you take some expert help or where someone has already done it and who are in the field of uh, building these biogas plants. So water is sealed unit, so it uh, it will it has tremendous pressure in here. So. Uh, uh, so any leak or any any minute uh, 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 seeping of water will actually uh, uh, will damage the whole system. So it is much uh, easier to build it uh, properly at this uh, first instant. And even if you are going to uh, pay some um, um, uh, money for the consultancy, you know, I would say it's worth 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 doing it. Um, and. Uh, the other thing that I want to clearly mention about this biogas plant is in order to you know, experience the, the whole advantage of this incredible unit, uh, you need to have one at your site. Um, this, is, this has helped us um, very much uh, and you know, once you build this and once you start using it and then you will be able to understand how this works and then when, when you start adding the right material inside, you will see how much waste you are actually reducing. Uh, the waste that you will actually want to throw out and uh, you, you will find it hard to manage. Most of these things can go in. Uh, from my experience, you know, perishable things and uh, the things that will decay 
are the biggest problem because uh, you know once you put it out you know there will be dogs and uh, you know crows are pulling everything apart so in order to prevent all these things you know keep your property clean um, keep it safe uh, keep a nice environment this this uh, this unit will help you very uh, very efficiently the main thing that i want to mention here is you will not have a, any smell coming from this unit but uh, i i want to warn you that when when the initial uh, stages when when you add uh, cow dung and when it's changing from aerobic to anaerobic then you will get a bit of smell you know that is normal and that should eventually cease uh, in, in probably three weeks time and after that you know there will be no smell this is the inside of the biogas line coming and this you can see this is the manometer which actually shows the pressure it doesn't show actually how much pressure you have but it will just say uh, there is um, there is a build up of uh, gas so that we can start using so once this is um, the yellow pipe you see is actually for the lp gas the 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 pvc pipe is the one that actually shows that comes to the colony here watching my video and if you have any questions or uh, any any doubts uh, please visit my uh, blog page uh, which will have uh, most of the information uh, if you need anything else uh, you can put a comment below on this video then I'll try to answer it uh, if I know and then otherwise I will try to find the answer for you so uh, once again thank you very much and uh, hope to see you in the next video